Hi, my name is Bill Deverell. I'm a history professor at the University of Southern California, and I also have an appointment nearby at the Huntington Library. Before I begin, I want to wish everyone good health uh, and wellness. These are trying and difficult times, and we need to reach out and care for one another while staying safe. We need to uh, honor our communities and our loved ones and our friends, uh, and we'll get through this. So I'm here to talk to you about an earlier period in American history of anxiety and worry, uh, the Great Depression. And my source for that is a song, This Land is Your Land, by the great American folk artist Woody Guthrie. I urge you to pull up that song uh, in my primary source accompaniment to this little lecture uh, and to pay attention to the words. Woody Guthrie was born in 1912. He was named for the, the then president of the United States, Woodrow Wilson. So his full name was Woodrow Wilson Guthrie, but he only went by Woody. Uh, Woody was uh, born into a family of some hard scrabble realities. His father was a salesman who did intermittently okay, but the family traveled a fair amount between Oklahoma and Texas, and Woody was always a wanderer. Uh, he learned how to play guitar. He was a good guitarist but he was an even better storyteller. He could put songs and uh, stories together in ways that made him really touch the pulse of America. He understood people's lives. He understood uh, how uh, working people struggled often in America, and he understood the impact of the Great Depression. When the Great Depression slammed into America in the late 1920s, Woody was one of the most important folk singers of the era who could tap into the stories of Americans struggling uh, with uh, loss of jobs and worry and anxiety and when things would get better in some ways similar to what we're wrestling with now. Woody traveled to California like hundreds of thousands of others thrown out of work and desperate by the Great Depression. And he showed up here in Los Angeles in the late 1930s uh, as a folk singer and as someone who knew how to tell stories about working people. Guthrie also began to temper and change his, his music so that he wanted people to come together, but he also wanted them to work to advocate for support from the local, state, and federal governments. He knew that the people of America were suffering, and he used his music to draw people together, to take their minds off of the desperation, but also to urge them to be aware that the government uh, could and should serve them and help them. So Guthrie, his music changed by the Great Depression, it changed by his time in California, and it exists today as a, a touchstone of American storytelling and also the ways in which we can come together as people and ask for and even demand the support that we need in times of desperation, trouble, and anxiety. So please pay attention to that song, please care for one another, and anyone can reach out to me. I'm easy to find by email on the USC History Department website I'd be delighted to be of any help I can. Everyone be well. Take care.